Linux engine, lots of different settings. I am in Google Chrome. I've just typed in the IP address. So this is the browser-based um, portion of the system where we can make settings. But if I come over here to the diagnostics page, we can actually have a look and see all of the equipment that has been installed in this system. Okay, so um, to give you an overview, um, we can see currently that there are 16 devices online, right? Um, these other boxes would tell us uh, errors or warnings or even offline devices. Uh, errors would be something more like uh, maybe a, a firmware mismatch, right? Warnings would be like your battery's getting low. Um, offline, of course, would be completely disconnected, and we can filter um, based on um, what we want to see there, okay? So also, um, we can sort, we can see everything in as a group. Um, all of my devices just randomly in, in a group, or I can actually break these out into what, how they're connected and what uh, each unit and kind of the daisy chain order in which they are connected to the engine, right? So I can actually see, let's come down to the engine first. I have my central unit. I also have a network extender and I have a wireless device, okay? Uh, wireless access point and a couple wireless microphones. If I come up, I can see I have two wireless microphones connected to my wired system. They all function as if it's one big system. And then I'll come up and you can see it's uh, this big, big uh, loop is actually done in a redundancy way. So it connects to the engine, daisy chains all of them together. And then this last unit actually returns back to the engine itself. Then I have a couple uh, Unicost units on just a single branch and another Flex unit on a single branch, right? But the nice thing I can do is um, the reason we, why we want to do redundancy is because if I'm going to come over and I'm going to just disconnect one of the cables right in the middle right now. And if we wait a second, we can see exactly where that disconnection happened, right? Oh, uh, now I have two branches that because the chain broke, but all of the audio, the meeting will continue as if uh, nothing ever happened. No one will be the wiser, except the tech who's looking at this will know, okay, somebody just kicked a cable or something just happened to that spot. And how do we identify exactly which spot that might be? Um, at the end of this branch, we know I can highlight. Of course, this wouldn't happen during a meeting, but I can highlight that unit. So all of the LEDs are lit now on that unit. At the end of this branch, I can also highlight that one. And now I know it is the cable between those two units. So I walk over to the, the, the two units with the LEDs on, I look under the table, I fix the cable, and then everything comes back into a loop, right? And we can, there's more um, on this diagnostics page. Like of course I can do a, a test tone to any one device or all devices. Um, I can highlight the entire branch if I wanted to know exactly where it starts and stops. Um, this is a very handy tool and I actually use this every single time I am out in the field and pulling cables and anything like that because you just want to make sure that if, if the client has kind of um, demanded re redundancy, then you want to make sure the system may be working, but you want to absolutely make sure that it is um, finished off in a in a complete loop. Mm -hmm.